it up, y'all. This is Denzel B. Ren signing on with you guys and girls. And man, I just got back from seeing the Batman. Woo! <laughs> it blew my expectations. If there is one word, this is going to be a non-spoiler talk, by the way. If there is one word that I could describe this film, well, in a minute if I can describe it. It's like, I'm asking Batman, you know, if you want to hang out. Batman says, sure, where you want to hang out to? He says he wants to hang out into a jazz club, a poetic club. So I take Batman, you know, be hanging out with all the Superman and all the DC heroes, then the, you know, audience is on the audience thing. And here's Batman on the poetic stage. This movie, for me, expresses Batman's darker, he's already, he's already a dark character, but darker, more express, uh, more detective, brain thinking, philosophical way of expressing yourself, Batman. This movie is like Batman going to a poetry uh, club, expressing himself. Man, okay, so my brain is going to go through a whole lot, so you guys going to process with me and stuff like that. Um, Robert Patterson's Batman. Um, very emo, I must say, uh, but very, very dark and much more broodier than the um, other rest of Batmans that we've seen before and everything. And um, his Batman, man, um, I won't say that he's nearly like Ben Affleck's Batman. But he will be, okay, maybe, maybe in my third place for Batman. Because my favorite is number one, Christian Bale, uh, uh, um, um, Michael Keaton. Um, okay, Robert Patterson and Ben Affleck, you know. And then the rest of them, you know, it's, it's, it's other things. But Robert Patterson... Did a very darn great job. That's right. We're getting the Twilight Boy here. He did a darn great job as Batman. He captured the 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 walk of Batman, the essence of Batman, and um, he was always just very moody. Like he has never cracked like not one smile a bit in this film. Um, because well, you know his Batman, you know his backstory. You know he he he's been traumatized. You know so what do you expect from a guy like that? You know dresses like a bat and fight criminals at night. You know but he captured the mood. He never like I said he never smiled at one bit in the film something like that. He was just always moody and stuff like that but his body language he, he captured he captured every every fulfilling moment for characters batman he was great um next is selena kyle uh, uh i can't think the chick name but she was very beautiful and, and attractive um she did a great great cat woman her okay when i was watching the film her walk her 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 body movements and the way how she fights and choreograph all that stuff was really cat like and very very Catwoman, like and stuff like that. Um, the acting, everything between them two chemistries was great. Um, um, I did enjoy uh, James, James Gordon, uh, Jeffrey Wright. There we go, Jeffrey Wright. He did a fantastic job as James Gordon. I so you see that Batman and Jeffrey Wright's um, team up. Batman and James Gordon was was like it was like it was like buddy cop. You know, it was like you really felt it in this film because you cannot compare it like the previous other Batman films like for example uh, Christopher Nolan's Batman sure their Jim Gordon and Batman relationship was good but this one was like ground where like they're always you know with each other like you know like buddy cops you know and what I mostly love about this film is that it, he was dressed up as Batman the whole time this is the only film that we see Batman full out like 85 percent or 90 85 or 90 percent of the film is Batman. There's like 10 percent, just like just he's off the suit, Bruce Wayne, and all that stuff. But in this film, it gets straight to the point. Um, it starts off like you see in the trailers. In the trailers, it shows you that you know Batman is with the cops and doing an investigation and stuff like that. And um, it gets it, that's why I love. It really gets straight to the point. Um, okay, what else? Um, cinematography and all that. Beauty is how it was shot and everything it was so comic booky light, and the way how the composition was, how uh, um, the director shot the film and everything is just like man, and the coloring too. In addition, I saw this in Dolby Cinema as well too, and the sound is like, oh my god, the sound design man, and the visuals and stuff is just off the chain, off the chain. Um, okay, this um, the Riddler, that man is psychopathic. When I say he is really psychopathic, I mean like totally suspensefully 
crazy. Like he's like like he's like scary, scary. Like you know, it like I can't spoil it in this in a spoiler talk, but it it was it was one part in the film where he he just popped out of nowhere for your nose, yo, y'all saw doing I talked about. Just the way like, oh my god, it's like you is this guy is everywhere, is he unstoppable? He got all these plans and mischief is going on. It kinda remind me of Arkham Knight, um what you do on the Riddler challenges and then you know you have to figure out the challenge, but all his all his um challenges in the movie is that you had to think like oh my god I, I was like gonna edge my seat like you like you really really had to think like he you know how he says all the real puzzles like hmm, what does that mean but then the next part of the scene in the movie you're kind of scared because there's some moments in the film it's like oh my god no wait is that the answer to that oh my god it's just like oh my god like like ripping stuff like that this is a strictly detective the only batman film that i think that's that's more Detective world Batman because you know in the previous films, you know the, the director's promise you will get the promise detective story Film for Batman stuff like that. I mean we've seen it and everything which is great and everything like Dark Knight and all that stuff Which is great, but this one is like strictly Over the top detective work put your thinking cap on and see what's going on and everything stuff like that um, Colin Farrell's uh, Penguin is so great everyone all the cast and everybody was so great so great i didn't even realize and i didn't even you know you can't even see that it's colin farrell the actor himself man but he betrayed him as his great as well carmen off i kill of um falcone played by john um to, if i say his last name like toronto toronto very great actor everybody was great chemistry and stuff like that and the, the acting was great visual was great um, it, sometimes this movie may be for some people, maybe it won't be for some people, but this is like, a, like I said, this is like if you're taking Batman to a poetry, uh, uh, jazz club and he's just expressing himself. And the uh, message in the film is just that, you know, he's going dark and broody, but then at the end, I heard some of you said they said they, the end was kind of anticlimactic. It could have been done better, it was good, but could have done better. Um, I would sort of agree with that, but it felt like a, how can I express the ending, like a, biblical redemption the feeling of you know he's he is what makes him Batman you know um but overall the story the plot and everything was just fantastic throughout I was never bored and yes I had a big giant wallet imprint on my butt that it was a three-hour film because it, it's it's a long film and stuff like that a little bit of a little bit of slow pacing just a little bit but i was not bored because when i'm watching like i said i could watch a three four hour movie and i never get bored it tells me more details about the characters and plot and sector etc yeah but um yeah to go over overall from my review cinematography fantastic um suspense and a little bit of horror tiny bit of horror in there too which made me jump scare a little bit it was like two scenes that made me jump scare um, Patterson's Batman was so excellent, just so serious, serious, he's, you know, brooding. Um, Riddler, scary as heck, man. Penguin, is fantastic, fantastic for all. Um, would I would love to see a sequel of this? Absolutely, I would, I would, I would love to see it, something like that. Is it a perfect Batman movie, in my vast opinion? No, it's not a perfect Batman movie, but it's a critical thinking, put on your thinking caps. Uh, uh, um, go into this open world of Gotham, and I love how Gotham City how it expresses Gotham like that more dirtier and crappier city, you know, like more crappier than New York, you know. But um, yeah, just the this world of this Batman is is comic book. It feel like like the Dark Knight Returns, um, comic book world, and and just the dark broodiness of Batman. I, I really enjoyed the tone of this movie. I, I really did dig it. Um. Can't say it without spoiling it, but um, there is there is a uh, character at the end, you know, in the very end of the movie, you know, they're gonna tease him if they're gonna make a sequel, and um, yeah, all I can say is great thing. Oh, before I conclude anything, the Batmobile. How is the Batmobile? I okay in Adobe Cinema, sound design wise for that Batmobile, it reminded me of the Star Wars episode one, the Phantom Menace pod racing scene, where if you have great surround sound everything just the details and the engine and all that other stuff it sounded so crisp and good man oh my god words can express how it sound like that and um even though it may look like a regular you know dodger car whatever it is but this car i i just want to see a series of batmobile it have its own tv series just like the batmobile have its own tv series because that car was that that car scene and chase and everything was so great you know me because 
in Batman films, I love a great car chase. Like my favorite one in the Batman films, uh, all the Batman films, is um, Batman Begins, going away, driving away for the police and stuff like that, and Dark Knight, of course, you know, chasing Joker. But this one right here was like sound design, orgasm in my ear, man. It was just, it was, it was just beautiful. It was so beautiful, man. But um, like I said, before I saw the film, I before the film was coming out was announced every day, I really had my little doubts. Like, oh, Robert Patterson is Batman, and they rebooting Batman again. It's like, come on, man. So like that. Outstanding, outstanding. Um, what I do really wish, though, because this was supposed to be Ben Affleck's Batman, and Matt Reeves took over for him because Ben Affleck was going through a little stuff and he couldn't make the film. Um, I really wish that this Batman could somehow fit into the DCEU so you could build him up and you know all that stuff. It's, it's so much things you can do because Batman is the OP and stuff like that. But there's so many things you can do with Batman. It's, 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 it's really great. But I, I enjoy the film. So I will rate this film out of five. Four point five out of five. Rats! Woo, man! I to do my rating in there, but I, you know, I'm screaming a little bit too much in, in, in theaters and have fun. But um, yeah, but 4.5 out of 5 this this film is. Uh, go see it. You will enjoy it. And if you want to wait, wait till it comes out on digital 4K. Or wait, if you got HBO Max, it'll come out through the summertime. Or, or if you're watching it now, if you, whenever you watch this video. But I really enjoyed the film. Please go and see it. Um, it's, it's very unique. Cinematography is great. Patterson, outstanding. Cast is outstanding. Amazing job, amazing job. Is it perfect? Like I said, no, it's not perfect, but outstanding criminal solving mystery Batman film. For like an Arkham game, that's in a way. So that's all I gotta say. Um, so I hope that I um, summed up and wrapped everything up. If I didn't, you know, it's okay. I'll totally spoil the talk. But what do you guys and girls have thoughts about the Batman? Comment below and let me know. Also, if you have enjoyed my review, click like, subscribe, and share more videos we posted each and every other day or week. So with that being said, thank you all for tuning in. This is Denzel B. Redden. Sign out. With a bang, Jim. Ah!